What's going on everybody, it's Zephyr here bringing you a brand new Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie. It's one of my favorite games from my childhood and I'm going to be sharing it with you all today. Well, not the whole game today. Anyway, everybody should just sit back and enjoy this nice intro. And that intro is awesome. At least I like it anyway. And here on the title screen, this is actually a preview of the very first world in the game, but uh, most people probably already know that. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit start, and hopefully I don't hit the same bug. Okay, good. That's... I don't remember what that game's from. That was from a messed up recording, and here we go. Banjo playing the Game Boy. Oh, oh, oh. 
Sorry about not talking there guys, I just pretty much do not like interrupting the main opening cutscenes. Now before we begin, there's actually a couple things I want to show off inside of his, inside of Banjo and Kazooie's house. First thing is, you might notice this flower here. Where did it come from? It wasn't here before, and where was the stand that Kazooie was on? It's just gone. Anyway, that's not actually what I came in here to point out, it's just something I noticed in the cutscene. Um, let's see, I think this can, damn it, I think it's gonna be best scene from like right here. This picture is actually a Banjo in a level that wasn't included in Banjo-Kazooie. It was, uh, I believe Fungi Forest, which was put into Donkey Kong 64, if I'm not mistaken. Just a little fun fact there. And this level kind of looks like Trouble Zero Co, but it's actually called Hammerhead Beach, and it wasn't included either. And yeah, just some stuff I wanted to show off there. I found it interesting anyway. Alright, this is, uh, Bottles. He gives us moves and stuff. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? <laughs> Better than you can, Gaga Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. I want to know how you get a mountain lair like that. Also, There was something I'm going to show off, but, uh... Pretty much, you'd have to go through all the tutorials. I really don't want to. But if you, um, go through the tutorial and, um... You go to the top of the mountain, the bridge is actually not fixed and you can't cross it. Before we actually go up to the mountain, there's something I want to do, which is... There's six, um, empty honeycomb pieces. And honeycomb pieces basically give you more health. Health is, uh, these full honeycombs here, as you can see, and that is not the right tree. Um, yeah. Basically, there's six. In each world, normally, there are two honeycomb pieces. In this world, um, there's six. Each six gives you a new, um, thing of health, as you can see there, which it's gonna explain right now, so I don't know why I bothered explaining. To increase your energy bar. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and all enemies you kill in this game will drop at least one honeycomb piece, which is what they're called. These are honeycomb pieces, which give you health. As you can see right there. Except we don't really need health, and we're pretty good off on health. Not really much to say here, except for this place is cool, and for the time it was made, it's just... You know, I've never been able to get this, uh... Yeah, I've never been able to get that. I, I don't know how you'd get that. But those are actual lives. Yes, this game actually has lives. Something that was taken out in the sequel, I believe. Uh, yeah, th this video is pretty much just going to be me collecting the honeycomb pieces, if I can remember where the hell they are. Yeah. I always get lost in trying to find me. God damn it. Floating cabbage. The floating cabbage hurt me. One's down here in the water. Basically, I'm. I think I've never actually done the tutorial. Um, I think that uh, when you do the tutorial, you actually get these during the tutorial. I could be mistaken. I don't think I am. Uh, <sighs> What's really creepy about these guys? These are rocks with eyes. That is just, huh? Right. What am I doing? Uh, right. Sorry, I got a little disoriented there. We're killing rocks that have eyes. I don't know why, but I find that really creepy and weird. I mean, look. They have eyes. Why am I doing that? Uh, look. They have eyes. They're blinking. Do that. Get another honeycomb piece. It's actually where you learn uh, the move that I was just using. 
because that's how you destroy those rocks. And the last honeycomb piece is up here, which I think is the first attack you learn, which is this. Fail. <laughs> I was trying to catch it in midair. So yeah, there's our first new honeycomb piece. As you can see, it expands your health. And what the hell is the bridge up? Because I totally forgot where the bridge is. Alright, there it is. It's actually a trick you can do to get up the spiral mountain. I guess that would be... Damn it. I, there's a little trick you can do to get up this quicker. I'm going to see if I can do it. Hopefully I can and not just fall down like that. Hi. Failure. Uh, it's kind of weird how in the very first level here there's like onions and carrots hopping around. It's weird. I'm going to give this one more try because I've done it before. I know it's easy to do like this. Almost. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Except that probably took more time doing that than it would have just been to go around. So, pretty dumb there, I guess. So you're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Yeah, basically in each world, um, I'm gonna fall off the mountain. Th no, 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 no. No, oh, thank god. Oh, jeez. Basically, in each world, um, bottles will... You'll get some new moves from bottles. I think it's upwards of two to three moves, and sometimes just one. But, um, really cool th cutscene. Forgot about this one. <laughs> this fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let go of me, you fat hag! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you, he will not dare! There's many dangers in my lair! Hurry, Kalungo! Push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on! Soon be ready! Benjo! Help! <laughs> I love this game, and yes, Grunty always pretty much talks and rhymes. There he is, the fun lag begins. My tricks and traps, see who wins. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. These are Jiggies, and that is the super awesome Jiggy dance, trademark the dance place. Um, each world you have to unlock with these jigsaw pieces, these Jiggies. Like this one right here. This is the very first world. It's called Mumbo Mountain. And basically you'll come to pictures like these. Each new world requires more. You know, I like, um... We've got the first jigsaw piece, Gargle Boy. Great! Fill in the missing spaces on the picture and press A. Uh, That's it! The picture's complete and the door to the Mumbo... Uh, the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. Sorry, I had a brain fart. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. And next time, we shall be heading in to Mumbo's Mountain. See you later, everybody!